So I mentioned in the beginning of this that I would talk about solar sails. So the radiation pressure or momentum flux is uh, really the how how you do solar sails in uh, space. So um, what we want to do is we want to look at um, how much force is applied to a reflective solar sail, and then we'll see how far it could take us in space in, say, a year, uh, preferably with a spaceship attached. Okay, so let's start with a one kilometer by one kilometer reflective solar sail. This is a <laughs> big sail. Um, okay, so before, uh, in the previous lecture, uh, the previous video, we derived two equations for the radiation pressure depending on if everything was absorbed or everything was reflected. Now, as I said, this is a reflective solar sail, so our pressure is equal to two times that of the punting vector divided by C, which is cool. So, um, we're going to use the solar pressure that we calculated uh, in the previous question, uh, just as an estimate. Uh, so before that was um, that was equal to 3 by 10 to the minus 6 newtons meters squared um, from the previous question. And now we want to calculate it for our uh, one here, for our solar sail, um, is just equal to this. Okay, super simple. So the force um, is, again, just the pressure times the area, which in this case is our uh, one kilometer by one kilometer solar sail. Uh, so the force, uh, we'll start over here now, is equal to this times the one kilometer by one kilometer solar sail. If we do that, we end up with um, about 6 newtons of force. Like, okay, that's not a huge number, like we feel 2 newtons from gravity and we can still hold our hands up. So, I mean, it is a small force. Um, so, using this force, let's have a look at how fast and how far in about like a year we could get um, our solar sail to. Um, first of all, we had better add in a spaceship and we'll just make it, uh, we can attach it to the Enterprise. The Enterprise is actually not this small, just so you know. Um, there we go. Some really strong wires. Okay, so um, this is not how a spaceship with a solar sail would look, by the way. Um, so uh, to do this, we need to first find the acceleration due to the force being applied to it. Uh, so this is the very simple equation that um, that the acceleration is just the force divided by the mass. Now, the Enterprise is probably, at about that size, is probably about 5,000 kilograms. I don't know, we'll go with that. So the um, total acceleration would be 1.2 by 10 to the minus 3 meters per second squared. Again, not that big. Okay, so that's the acceleration, and now we get to use Newton's second law, which always comes in handy. Um, so the velocity is equal to the velocity that you started with, uh, plus the acceleration over time. Now we're going to assume we started from zero velocity, and we're going to go for about a year. Uh, so um, from that, we get this. So, 150,000 kilometers per hour after one year. That is how fast our ship will have been going. That is, uh, uh fast. So, we had a, a little force, but over a whole year, we're getting a really fast spaceship. Not quite warp drive. But we'll get there. So, how far did it go? Um, distance is just equal to this. Um, and then we can substitute in all the values we need. So, 
So the distance in one year that our solar sail spaceship can go is 6 by 10 to the 11 meters. Now this is equivalent to four times that of the distance between the sun and the earth. So in one year you can travel to the sun like twice, which is uh, very cool. So solar sails are pretty cool. A small force over a long time results in a lot of motion. But to us outside we don't really feel radiation pressure because it applies a very small force to us. However, if you want to go to very small scales, like uh, the size of an atom or a molecule, it is a whole different story. Uh, take a look at some articles on optical tweezers, uh, if you've got the time. Um, here, the small radiation pressure becomes really significant. Uh, it's a really cool effect, so I suggest you look it up on YouTube or something. Um, and if you have spare time, why not see if you can figure out how they work.